Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one again is going to be on Liv Morgan Oblivion. Um, so I was on vacation when uh, Liv was released, so I didn't get to the preview in a timely fashion. So I'm going to do some gameplay uh, with her now for you guys. Uh, not my Liv. I did not get her. Um, but anyway... She, of course, is a modern era trickster. She's got the modern era link, gems do 5% more damage, and the stock Oblivion gear. She's a trainer. Uh, at 6 star, silence gems do 40% more damage, and moves that generate red gems will create 3 more red gems. Uh, no idea right off who I would use this on uh, right at the moment. Uh, I'm going to have 3 move sets for you guys. We're going to start off uh, with triple purple, and then 2 others. My favorite one is last. Uh, of note, this is not a good strap. It's just a 5%er. Uh, Fury 2 not maxed out at level 12. And then uh, just a standard uh, Fury 2 149% uh, move damage metal for red. Um, so that's what we're going to run. We're going to start off, like I said, triple purple. 10 MP sub, generate 36 random sub gems, do 489k for 5 turns. Remaining turn into uh, color gems uh, on the board. Double knee face breaker, 321k damage plus 79k for every color turn. And then the middle rope drop kick, uh, 200k damage and make 36 color turn gems into purple. Entourage for this one, I know he's rare, but uh, I don't think you would run this build set at all uh, unless you had LA Knight. So LA Knight, uh, 2 MP, and honestly, realistically, you're probably not going to run this move set anyway. Uh, and 75% more color turn damage. Woods for 4 purple MP. And then uh, Brett for 50% more color turn uh, gem damage. Then Santa Hogan this way. So if you didn't max perks, you would start with 9 MP, 1 short. If they don't have max defensive perks and you do have max offensive, you would be loaded. Uh, line bonus, you would be loaded. So you can also swap out Brett if you wanted really wanted to run this for an MP down guy. Uh, and then swipe the first turn. I'm not going to bother with the swipe, but that'll give you an idea of how it would work in feud. Uh, again, I wouldn't, can't see why you would run this unless there is a massive color turn line bonus with some MP as well. Anyway, it is a move set, so let's get out there and check it out. And maybe there'll be a color turn lady boss. She would obviously be the go to for that. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to start off with the sub. Of course, if you didn't have LA Knight, you could use any of the two purple MP coaches, or trainers rather. Gonna <clears throat> thank you, Trish, for taking all of my color turns. I, I appreciate you. Luckily, they didn't make a match, so that's nice. And this did a decent chunk for how many we lost, 3.4 million. You could, of course, use all heart with this and buff the purple gem damage right here a little bit. It's not going to be, like, exceedingly crazy here. Uh, like 1.5 million. Uh, all heart would probably bump that to 2, 2.5. But again, we didn't hit very many uh, or didn't have very many left. It recycles really easy. Uh, yes, you could use less turns on the sub. Um, but then you'd lose Brett for 50% on those, so... You know, six of this, half a dozen the other, plus the sub does pretty good damage. Uh, so it's a pretty much a two-cycle win. Only potential downside is if those cascading caused you to pin the color turns on that move. This is easily going to wipe her health that's left, and it's uh, it's game over. Oh yeah, a little housekeeping note. There's going to be one move I don't use in this preview. I'll show you that as soon as we're out of this. Uh, next build set is Super Sub uh, build set. If you have Logan, it'll be better. He'll be better than Nikki, uh, but he's more rare, so I'm not going to use him. Uh, if you don't have Sammy, you would just use a. Uh, uh, you could use Ollie. Wait, let me look at the. Yeah, you could use Ollie. Absolutely, use Ollie for 100%. Uh, you could also use Zombie Brock if you felt like it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Sammy. I'll explain why. Uh, the move I'm not going to show is the jumping in Sagiri. 4 MP green, deal 231k damage, and steal up to 5 red MP from each of your opponent's red moves. So we're not going to run that one. Alright, so let's get the Hurricane Rana in. 
here, which is choose uh, six gems to make into purple. We're going to have the sub, and then we're going to recycle the sub um, with the metal rope drop kick. So just the Hurricane Rana is new. Deal 217k damage and choose six gems to make into purples. The other benefit to using Sammy is in Feud, there's no matchy match. So two, three matches would load the sub the first time around. You can see with this setup, we are doing um, six, 8.4 million. And then with the Feud boost of 50%, it would be uh, 240k for those six turns. So that's like what? basically another 1.5 million so you should go north of 10 million on this sub and feud uh logan would add one more turn by closer to like 12 million um so pretty solid as far as just the straight up sub so with sammy like i said just uh two three matches would load it up And it's sub a dub dub time. Does Liv actually do this move? I don't think I've ever seen Liv do a guillotine. Have you guys? Maybe she has, I don't know. <clears throat> and then this will recycle it. Again, you could use all heart for this if you wanted. see it's not going to hit very hard because we're going to lose a lot of the gems. Uh, but it is, again, a two-cycle win. Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Um, so last move set. This is the, this is the big one. The only downside is two MP trainers. Slight chance to cascade if you don't use a matching match, which we're not gonna because we want to hit hard. Uh, it's very fast though. And if you have a super duper rare plate, i.e. the Ghostbuster Seance plate, uh, then she's absolutely ridiculous. She's great even without it. Um, you'll see. So we're bringing in the Oblivion. Actually, I'm sure you've all already seen by this point. <laughs> if you're watching this, I do appreciate it. Um, so Oblivion, 7 MP combo move, deal 100 and... Yeah, 127k damage, and in commas make this hard. No commas make this hard. Increase your red gem damage by 200%. Um, then, um, you're gonna deal 254k damage and make 36 color turns into red. Of course, if there's no color turns, then you'll just do the buff. Uh, running drop kick, 6 MP, uh, choose 6 gems to make into red. And the Ripcord Knee Strike, 193k damage. Choose a 5x5 five five area to make into color turn gems. I did try this one uh, along with making the color turn gems into purple. It just simply didn't hit that hard. And it was difficult to get it to recycle the red back because it didn't really flow. So I didn't bother running it for the video here. Uh, like I said, the only downside is you need double MP trainers and 17k Santa um, to make this one work. But if you have that, this one slaps. Because you can hit that buff twice. Uh, after you hit the buff, you need to do a 7 match because of no matchy match. So we will need one red gem somewhere. Um, hopefully on one of the sides. Yeah, we don't have it. Uh, so this could be... This could be Cascady Chance, right? This is the downside with no matchy match. Um, so let's find out. Anyway, we're going to hit the buff first. So this is 200% red gem damage. I really hate doing this on the bottom row, but the middle... It all seems worse, to be honest. There's two here, two... It's... It's rough. This is cascading. Hopefully only a three match. Oh, I also didn't put my color turn gems down because I was too worried about complaining. You do the color gems twice and then you get more color gems. So we're going to run this again. Um, so you do it here. 
the first time and then you do it here um, the second time and then you get more overlap and you hit way harder when you hit this. So that was poor gameplay because I was yapping. So it hits harder than this. That's like not impressive. That's only six mil. And this is with the crappy strap. So you're going to hit a lot harder. Also hit a lot harder when we get more gems to turn red and I run it right. Really, I should have both of the red moves next to each other. Uh, then that would not happen. Or less likely to happen. Still probably would happen with me talking. Alright. So buff. We have one on the side here, so that's great. Like I said, slight chance of cascade risk uh, with this setup is the only downside. But with two sets of buffs and two sets of countdowns, it hits quite hard. I'm sorry, color turns. I misspoke. It's too bad we don't have a Z-plate for color turns. That would be awesome. And in case we drop a purple, let's change that. Almost cascaded to our doom. So this is the way you're supposed to do it. Corner, corner. Get the most overlap. Now we change these bad boys red and it'll be a lot more impressive. Probably like 9 million-ish. Something like that. Nine point seven reduced to nine million flat. I'll run it one more time because it's fun and this has been a short video. For me, especially. Um so Trickster I'll just kick it up to two times speed. Trickster is completely loaded for ladies, so another good trickster. Um actually this weekend is Cora Jade. I wonder if she'll be good. She's a trickster as well. Um so many good tricksters. Uh, in the ladies game and lots of fast ones. Again, we have a red over on the side. I like this. Vertical's the best on the edges. Then up here would be next best. Bottom is the worst. Take it back. There's that right there. We're going to be doing the top. We're good, barely. So there's slight cascade risk, right? Um, but she doesn't need a drip plate to hit really hard. So that's a huge bonus. This is not a good strap. Uh, you don't need an ultimate or anything like that to hit crazy hard. Um, obviously, Zianka's best build set needs a, a blade braid, which is fairly rare, as well as a veer plate. Um, I call it veer plate. That's not the actual name, but the one that drains MP when you break for X breaks. Um, so Zianka can use some really rare stuff to do really well. Uh, of course, Drip Coda uses a drip plate. Um, so yeah. Uh, she doesn't need a lot at all, so I, I'm willing to to forgive the fact that she can cascade on that six match to hit hard because she doesn't need very much. Uh, I'd love to get her. Um, I probably, honestly, truthfully, would be inclined to take her six star silver even before Drip Coda um, or Zianka because I hate moving plates around. In fact, I don't really, and my Drip lives on solo now. Solo. Um, so I would probably actually take Liv up just for the fact that she doesn't need anything rare to hit hard and she's plenty fast. Um, cause we don't end up using ladies too often, unfortunately. So that's, I don't, I'm not saying she's better than, D uh, Dakota cause Dakota with the drip hits harder, uh, probably a little bit faster and then no chance of cascading, right? Um, Zianka doesn't turn one with this at six star silver. It's mostly turn two, so you need the Veer. Again, my Veer lives on JBL. I have no interest in changing it to her. 
Um, and I need to put an ultimate strap. You can see I don't really even use her anymore, uh, even though she's amazing and I have her gear. Um, yeah, so it's those three, right? They're the best. And then probably Mommy and Becky after that. Um, pick which one you want based on the reasons you want. Um, she's great. Doesn't need much to be great. Just the slight chance of the Cascade Risk for those sub lovers out there. She's got the super sub build. So great addition to the game. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Sorry this is late. I do have Indy to do as well. I will try to do her as well. Uh, not as big a rush on that because Indy was a zero shard recruit. So very few people got her. In fact, I don't even know if anyone in my faction got her. Um, but anyway, uh, lives pretty great. Uh, if you got her, congrats. I did not. Uh, still quite a few shards away. Hopefully we'll see some of those shards sometime soon. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. So many tricksters, uh, although Liv is a welcome addition in my opinion because she doesn't need much to hit heart, so I will take it.